what's up guys cheers and a quick side note i wanted to make about harmonizing is things to look out for so the first thing that's given to us in simon smith's backing track is the tonality so it's in g dorian um i found it since i'm in uh standard tuning i found it really easy for me to just harmonize and play in the key of g minor for me given my tuning and um the first thing that i looked for when it came to harmonizing is to see what i could add to the backing track that's going to be a complement to the to the track you know and you could go about you could go about it the same way when it comes to harmonizing with your own bandmates or for your own music. Let's say you write a riff and you want to write some harmonies to it. You got to think, okay, how am I going to complement this riff? You know, musically speaking, I don't want it to be the same thing or something that's going to step on top of it and just drown it out. You know, I want it to be something that's going to complement it. And by complement it, you mean, you know, It's basically the same word as harmony. So I've noticed that, okay, he's strumming slash tremolo picking a certain rhythm, which is the G minor chord and D minor chord. And then he's tremolo picking the lead part, okay, which is in that tonality, a key in G Dorian. So I said, okay, what is it missing? What does it not have that would go well with that backing track and what i've noticed is okay it doesn't have arpeggios and that's where i came up with the first riff okay and it's in the same tonality which is the key and that's where i came up with uh this first one Complements of the riff and that riff wouldn't step upon his tremolo picking and strumming of whatever he's already playing. And then the second thing I played is it's a strumming chord progression, but it's at a higher register. I know he's already strumming a chord progression at a lower register, so that higher register harmonized the lower register would just add that much more to the atmosphere, which was this part. And then to finish it off, I wanted to finish off with something more in the lead category. Even though I know he's already has he already has a lead, which is tremolo pick. So I came up with a lead of my own, but instead of it being tremolo picked at 16th or 32nd notes, which is something he's already doing, I decided to do something that's going along with the pulse of the beat of the music that he wrote, which is in six eight time signature which is basically six eighth notes per measure so i decided to go okay i'm gonna just do eighth notes so it's just basically counting along with the music which is one two three four five six one two three four five six so i came up with this uh windier inspired melody <laughs> So it's alternate picking, which is down, up, down, up. And it's a little bit trickier to pull off than, for example, sweep picking. So 
so and it's different than economy picking because economy picking isn't just down up down up it's you know whatever is accessible at that moment in time and alternate picking is just strictly down up down up and what i like about alternate picking musically is that it goes with the down and the up beats which is pretty self-explanatory but it goes along with certain accents in music so again <laughs> at the beginning of each measure is when that strong note hits in. So yeah, to recap is when you're harmonizing with not only backing tracks, but with, let's say, your band members or your own music or whatever situation you find yourself in, is see how you could complement their expression and see how, you know, whatever they're writing and vice versa, I would say. Um, and I'm thinking a little bit too much about it, but. It's basically just complimenting the music, you know, how can you serve the song and so on and so forth. So with that said, cheer you guys and have a good one. And thank you for tuning in and check out Simon Smith's channel. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already do check out his stuff. It's really, really, really good informative stuff. I just joined this Patreon. Go join his Patreon. He gives you the option of joining for just $1 a month, dude. Which is fucking extremely affordable compared to all these other dudes out there fucking charging much more. And for the stuff that he provides, I mean, obviously you could pay more if you want. But regardless, the dude knows what he's talking about and he provides a really good value. Right, thank you guys. Cheers.